Oh yeah. Our first Facebook live video. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> first. <laughs> oh yeah. This is my first uh, Facebook live video. This is gonna be interesting. Hello from the, the new warehouse. <laughs> we got a nice upgrade to share with you guys. And what perfect way to do it than on our first live broadcast on YouTube. I'm out here with the, uh, the Spank Bank. Got her out. Got her out to drive her for a little bit today on this Black Friday. Ooh, baby girl. Sounds so good. Hold on, we're gonna light her up. <laughs> there we go. Not working now because I got the override on. There we go. <laughs> right, I'm gonna shut the door so we don't let all the heat out. Do, do, do. So, welcome to the uh, the new and improved 1320 video warehouse. Out here hanging out with the with the spank bank, and I thought I'd give this live feed thing a try. Part of the reason that I'm doing this is so I can tell you guys about our Black Friday sale, and we haven't mentioned it on YouTube yet. So I'm extending it one day just for you guys, just for our YouTube fans. You go to 1320video.com/shop or just 1320video.com, use the coupon code YouTube25 when you check out, and it's 25% off everything. So, let me give you a little tour, and then we'll do a little uh, Q&A, have some fun. Um, actually, before I do the tour, uh, I haven't given you guys an update on the on the Spank Bank for a while. You've seen plenty of the, the Unicorn, and this car got some improvements last winter. You may remember from the... Uh, from the unicorn vlog we rebuilt the motor pretty much stock rebuild stock displacement stock uh rods or pistons i forget and then we did aftermarket the pistons are aftermarket rods are factory and bid 670 to the wheels is what it did which i wasn't quite happy with it's on a mustang dyno so it's pretty good for a mustang dyno and uh i want more i want 750 800 or so so my friend Greg Kong over at Kong Performance is going to help us out with that. Need to do some bigger pulleys. Um, need to do some bigger pulleys. This has smaller, I'm sorry, smaller pulleys. This has smaller pulleys on it, but it's only about 13 half, 14 pounds of boost. Um, made 670 of the wheels on a Mustang Dyno. It's got um, ported blower by Kong Performance, ported snout and throttle body and then stock intake. So we're gonna do new intake, 102 throttle body stuff, smaller pulleys, and that should be good. It's got a stick, uh, D-stick performance, E85 flex fuel setup on it, um, then Cook's headers, X-pipe, high flow cats, and then factory exhaust, because I like those cutouts on there. But um, yeah, that's the spank bank. I'm trying to think of what else you guys want to know um the wheels are actually another question because they've got these cool little 1320 video center caps on here which are cut out on the cnc well i'm not sure what they're cut out on, but anyway they're actually um forge line wheels they're like the ga1 r something um that's what the wheels are on here i haven't seen too many other zr ones with them on there i like to have something a little bit different got a stage two cam in it um, and I don't, don't want the crazy stage three cam, but the, uh, we're not cranked, we don't have the boost cranked up enough for that cam to really do work with the intake side of things. But this is, I think this is still my favorite Corvette just because I can drive the crap out of it, throw it in the garage, repeat, it's low maintenance, it just works. So, um, if you're just joining us, we have our holiday sale going on and we set up this cool little board, which is interesting to see every shirt and hoodie that we sell. If you go to our website, type in YouTube 25 when you're checking out, you're gonna get 25% off. And that's good till tomorrow. 
Our other sales end tonight, but just for your YouTube subscribers, I'm extending that a day because this is the first time you're hearing of it. So my favorite shirt, our new ones, is right here. That's one of our top sellers, and then the Mexico shirt, front and back, right here. Uh, Cletus's rear diff is actually a C5 diff still. Not quite as strong as a C6 diff, which I've got in my unicorn. So that's part of the reason why he is keeps breaking the diff cases. So here's the warehouse. We got a whole bunch of stuff in here. And with your help, we can get rid of a lot of this stuff. The guys are over here busy packaging and shipping. We'll get over and talk to them in a minute. Check out this really cool mural. It's about 25 feet wide. Get a C7. Um, I like the C7s, it's not as good as uh, that car. C601 is still my favorite Corvette ever made. The insides are really nice and new in C7s, but they uh, are really cramped for big guys like me. I'm six feet tall. So here's uh, where we pick and pull all of our top sellers, shirts, hoodies. Now we've got overstock over here. We'll, we'll pull stuff over the other aisle. Got a whole bunch of DVDs everywhere here. And then we've got hats. Hats on hats on hats. More hats. We've got Brandon and Kenton over here packaging up stuff for the holiday sale. There's Dan. Yo. And then uh, we do sell stuff on Amazon. And it's very, very important you don't run out of stock on Amazon. So this is our Amazon Fulfillment Center. <laughs> so here's where all the magic happens. <laughs> and here's all, the, here's all the stickers we sell. There's a lot of different stickers we have. Got like the American flag. Got Japanese flag. Mexico. Canada. Sweden. Puerto Rico. Qatar. Um, Australia, Maryland, Texas, Germany, 405, California, New Mexico, Arizona, and then we got our camo. So all these, everything you're seeing here is 25%. Off. The only thing that's not is our brand new DVD, the high stakes DVD. We don't put those on sale the first year they're out. So YouTube 25 is coupon code. You can get the link in the description here. Just go to 1320video.com. So I'm going to show you a little more of the warehouse, and then I'll do a little Q&A and see what you guys are curious about with what we do. Got a bunch of kids' stuff here. Got yoga pants, leggings, ladies' stuff. I like the foil stuff here. And then all of our hoodies, because it's cold out now. We, uh, we were in a 1,500-square-foot warehouse, and now we're in this 2,500-square-foot, and it's a much-needed upgrade. It's way nice. High stakes, high stakes you can get digital. Um, the last five years of our Texas DVDs you can get digital. Shout out to um, our friend Stripper Name Nasty. That's his name on Instagram. He made this badass mural for us. Cold start the vet. Well, it's been started, so it's not going to be very cold started. KC Street Racing. Yeah, I love Kansas City Street Racing. We're getting uh, packages ready, sent out to you guys. This is about 25% of what we got to ship out. So we got a lot to do. Back to the spank bank. Um, common question number two for the spank bank is where did I get this plate from? Uh, and <laughs> kind of a funny story. I was trying to figure out how to get it. Well, first of all, spank bank, the name came from the car is so beautiful. Take a picture of it, put it in your spank bank if you didn't get that already. Uh, and how we got this is when you apply for plates, you have to tell them how you or what they mean. So SPNK, I told them I invested in SPNK stock and I made a lot of money and sold it. So this is my bank for it is the ZR1 <laughs> and it worked. <laughs> so once again, here's our wall of everything. We've got some of the state and country shirts right here. Some of our favorite places to go to. We got Sweden over there as well. Summer Nats for Australia stuff. Women's stuff. Here's our top selling shirts. The USA flag on the front with this on the back. Vertical logo on the front with that on the back. And then our It's More Fun in Mexico. <laughs> we got a long sleeve, thinner um, 
like soft material long sleeve and get it with just this front logo or this front and back. And then we have our front only logo shirts. These are all Gildan high quality. And we've got all our hoodies, which you can get youth up to 5XL on that one. Um, and then the rest of them are small up to 5X. And then my favorite, which I'm wearing right now, is this zip up right here. It's I think it's about $70, I believe, but it lasts a long time. I've had mine for two years and it's still basically new. So, yeah. What uh, what are you guys up to today? I'd use this also as a little Q&A just to hang out with our YouTube fans. I've never done a live feed before, so throw some questions out there. The uh, And by the way, Unicorn, unfortunately, isn't here. Uh, it's still in Colorado, the Man Cave guys who brought it out to SEMA for me. It's wintertime here. It's snowing every once in a while, and so I told them to just take their time bringing it back here whenever they, whenever they have time. And so they're actually going to have it at Haunted Port Nights in Denver tomorrow. So uh, if, you're in, if you're in Colorado, go check that out. You can see this, the uh, unicorn in person. But, uh, yeah. Are you coming to Cletus and Cars in Houston? Uh, yes, I believe we're going to come at least to the first one, maybe to both. I'm not sure yet. We haven't figured out our schedule yet. Um, what do I think about the C8? I'm, I usually hold out my opinions on new cars until I see them in person, to be honest, because it's really easy to hate them online and pictures and videos until you actually see them in person, hear it, see it, sit in it. Um, I really want a C7 ZR1, but like I said earlier, I like this car looks a little bit better. I'm sure the brand new ZR1 is just a monster to drive. Why don't you put a wing or chassis mount wing? Because it's ugly? I don't know. Just like the way both of my cars look. I'm not sure which one you're referring to. If you're just joining us, uh, we've got our holiday sale going on, which I extended just for you guys, our YouTube fans, to tomorrow. Everything else expires at midnight if you have those coupon codes, which you can still use. But YouTube 25, 25% off everything on our website except for the high stakes DVD that just came out um, today and tomorrow. What gear do you run for eighth? What gear do you run for quarter? I use the same. I wish I knew the numbers for you right now. I'm not sure. The ZR1's got factory gearing. Yeah, factory gearing in it. And the C5, I'm sorry, I don't know. Will you be buying the new ZR1? I'll probably get one when they're under six figures. That's what I did with this car. I got this one, I think was like 120 some new, and I got it for like 80 with 8,000 miles on it. So not bad. Do we sponsor? No, we don't physically sponsor and give people money or parts, but through our videos, people use those videos to get sponsorships. So technically we do, but not directly. Are you coming to Summer Nats in Aus this year? Yes, Fred, uh, Fred, Matt, and Stinson will be there. I won't personally be there. I'm, just, I'm gonna be at home figuring out what we're doing this year, just come up with some new strategies and stuff. When will we be around Atlanta next? Probably Streetcar Takeover. Canada, that's a good question. Looking for reason to come to Canada, to be honest. Um, we really want to come up there, but we got to find the right event where we can get a whole lot of content in one trip. So if you know some cool stuff, let us know. And that goes for other worldwide international trips. We're really eager to go check out new places worldwide. Uh, so if you're in like Japan or I don't know, even well, Brazil, I know some people already, but I'm trying to think of other countries we really want to go to. Um, there's you know limitless options out there. Just want to see a lot of uh, car cultures around the world. What engine does the Unicorn have? It has a Texas Speed 427 with six bolt heads, um, LS3 heads, uh, so we can fit the shorter intake on there. Get under the factory hood. I already answered your question about the wing. <laughs> I don't need another wing. I like the way it looks. Hi, Chad. Chad from the Shop Inc. is on. Chad, what gears are in the uh, C5? Someone was asking if you remember. I don't know. Doo -doo -doo. Where's the Nebraska 1320 stickers? I've gotten that a lot. And if you live in Nebraska, you probably know what our flag looks like. I think we have a design made up, but we haven't. We do? Oh, we have. We have Nebraska stickers. Um, check back tomorrow. 
Yeah? Check back tomorrow. <laughs> We'll have Nebraska stickers, but anyway, we haven't been any huge rush to put those up because, as you know, our, our flag isn't super sexy. <laughs> Next trip to KC, not sure. Sunshine State. What's the Sunshine Sunshine State? Florida. Uh, I think we've looked at that. I don't think the Florida flag was that. Like, we've made the stickers of the flags that people are really proud of and love the color of and they they want. Um, thank you for answering that. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> and as you'll see, if you look at our website, actually, I'll just go show you the stickers. We've done the, the ones first that are most popular. We have Maryland. What happened to your old neon from your Facebook? Uh, it actually went to someone in Denver, I believe. I would love to know what happened to that car if someone knows who owns it now. It had about 100,000 miles on it, so it may not be out running still. I'm not sure. Do, do, do. What are the odds you come to Daikoku Futo in Japan? I'm not sure what that is. Check it out. Drift car anytime soon. It's not real high on my list. I would like to learn how to drift sometime just to do it, but I don't know if I would necessarily build a car for it. So many things we can do on a drag strip or burnouts or whatever, kind of what our core stuff is. Confederate flag? No, sorry. <laughs> We have uh, we've got our digit camo, green and black camo, Chicago. So you'll see we've done all the flags that are real popular and sexy. <clears throat> Puerto Rico, we did this one mainly because we love Puerto Rico. People there are amazing. American flag, best flag out here. Japan for all the ricers. Got Mexico, Canada. Um, Texas, Australia, Sweden. Please answer, in how many cars do you have? I have five. Five? Five. Unicorn, Spank Bank. We've got a Lexus GS350 F Sport, Denali Yukon XL, and a Chevy 3500 diesel. Gonna have to get a new truck here soon because uh need something to haul the unicorn around or the spank bank so we can go to trips all over the u.s with the cars when the merch booth's being being uh hauled colorado shirts i think we have some left yeah yeah we have colorado shirts left so there you go we have all the sizes too so on our website use the coupon code youtube 25 when you check out 25 percent off till tomorrow night Touring bus in the plans, no. <laughs> Will you do a burnout on a shirt? No, sorry. I have two vets, yes. Uh, I have the Spank Bank right here, which is my ZR1. And then I've got the C5, which is uh, the unicorn. So here's a Spank Bank if you're just joining us. Summer Nats is coming up soon. You should enter your own car. Well, I have a, <laughs> I have my Zero One, and then I have the C5, which neither are burnout cars for that kind of burnouts. So I don't really want to go and pop tires and blow out the fenders on either of those cars. Is the Unicorn going to be at PRI? No, it's not. If you know someone that needs a car for their booth, I would love to bring it to PRI. So hit me up, Kyle at 1320video.com. She's ready to ready to go. I'm sure the man cave guys wouldn't mind bringing it up to PRI as well. Someone asked how many full-time employees I have. I have 10 full-time employees, not including myself. 10, quite a few of us. When are World Cup final videos coming out? We put up one so far. We've got another one going up um, Monday. So we've got at least 10 new ones, 10 videos from World Cup, I think. That'll be coming out. Doo, doo, doo. I saw the Unicorn at SEMA. Amazing, thank you. It looks really good. I love the new weld wheels on it. And here's some of the orders that the guys are packaging and shipping out to you guys. So if you ordered yesterday, more than likely your package is in here or soon to be. Here's, uh, here's our warehouse. If you're just joining us. What other questions you guys got for us? 
And by the way, all of the 10 employees I've hired are good friends of mine. I've got one employee, Christian, our new editor, who I didn't know that well before, but some of the guys on the crew did know before. So we're kind of a close-knit group of friends. So if you're looking for a job, we get that question a lot. We don't really hire, um, have never really hired outside of our group of friends yet. Uh, so sorry, but that's just the way the company has been built, and that's what I like. <clears throat> C5 over C6 any day. You know, it's so hard to choose a, a favorite. Um, the C5 is just like a perfect, like raw car, but super amazing car for the price. But personally, this is the best looking Corvette, in my opinion. That's my opinion. You should take your, your two, you should take your vet to the new Boosted Boy shop. Yes, I should. I'm planning on stopping by and checking it out. Christian, I played Fortnite with absolutely top bloke. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm going to screenshot that and send it to him. <clears throat> kind of showed you the guys before, but here's Kenton. He manages all the merchandise. We got Dan and Brandon. These are the merch boys. Brandon's the main shipping man in the house here. Set. My hand weighs four pounds, 20 ounces. <laughs> How did you meet Garrett? Um, well, he was, he was a friend of a friend that was at a uh, weekly Sonic meet here in town in Omaha, Nebraska. And uh, he's always, you know, stopped by the meets every once in a while. And he asked if I wanted to, he had been watching our Facebook social media and he was a big Instagram user. And he asked if I wanted him to post all the stuff I post on Facebook on our Instagram. I was like, sure, here's the password. Give it a shot. I've only got 2,700 followers on our Instagram and had like, I think we had a little over a million fans on Facebook when I met him. Yeah, we were over a million. And uh, he's taken it, he'd taken it from 2,700 followers to basically like 1.2 million before we decided it would be best for him to do Cletus stuff separate from running our social media because he was running all of our social media like basically taking all the videos we make and making them like publishing them our editors were editing them uh, and uh, he would just make sure they get seen by as many people as possible and, and in the right way so pretty cool story and he's a very motivated person he comes from a family of entrepreneurs and it's awesome to see him doing so well uh, we decided to not split ways but we're, we still work together very often promote things together uh, but he got so busy with Cletus stuff that we both knew that he just needed to focus on that because he had this awesome opportunity. So everyone wants me to start this. I'm going to open up the garage, start it up again. Because if you weren't on the beginning, when I did start it. Do, do, do. Sorry for the shaky video. I'm just doing this on my cell phone. I've never done a YouTube live feed. All right, so we got the Spank Bank ZR1, and something interesting that I just got for this car is down here under the dash. It's called a Dash Logics module right, right here. And when I start it up, you'll see on the dash. Yep, pushing the clutch in would help. So in a second here, you'll see. I'll get outside so you can hear it in a second. It's a Dash Logics display controller. And check this out. You can there's a whole bunch of different displays you can go through, but it shows like a digital dyno type thing on here. Um doo -doo -doo. there we go. And you can all you also have different displays on the heads up display. So the ethanol content isn't great right now because it's the winter, it's 68% and I've got 46% fuel level on the car. So you can see right here, 46% shows the actual percentage on the dash. And then using the, the down button, I can, I can scroll through different menus. So page two is zero to 60 in RPM, but I, on page six or seven, I set up um, intake temp, like the actual intake at the very front of the car and then the temperature at the blower so anything over 150 degrees actually pulls timing so i know 
roll to 8K. <laughs> And that's called Dash Logics. I got that from Race Proven Motorsports. Uh, Fran hooked it up. Oh yeah. Cutouts don't like to work with the Dash Logics controller because uh, I've got a, oh, I've got a force to be open right here. So put it in the middle. Oh, yeah, that one. There we go. Nice and quiet. That's why I went with factory exhaust. Twin charge in the future. No, I uh, I kind of regret modifying this car to begin with, to be honest, because it was just so perfect from the factory. I don't want to go too crazy with it. I was saying earlier, I kind of want to buy a factory one just so I can uh, have one that's completely factory. Sounds like a 3800. Are you talking about the Pontiac motor? I was saying uh, I kept the factory cat back exhaust back here because it has the, the cutouts in there with the remote. You can see them right there. Um, just cruising down the interstate. I love to be able to think and talk. And <laughs> when, I, when I want it to be loud, I'll just open the cutouts. And then with the race, race logics controller, that little module I showed you under the dash right here, you, if you have it all the way left on the side of your mirror switch, it keeps them open all the time. Middle keeps it like factory is where it's... Uh, it opens after like four grand or whatever. And then if you do this, it keeps it closed the entire time, which sounds really weird. It's like Prius mode. It's, all you hear is just a bunch of air. What other questions you got? I love that there's uh, almost 600 people on here still. It's fun to just kind of hang out with you guys and BS. What's your favorite import? Oh boy. <laughs> I haven't really thought about that too much. Favorite import, favorite import, favorite import. Well, my Lexus is my daily, so I really have enjoyed the Lexuses for um, for good daily. I want to get an S7 or RS7 eventually in the Audi because they're just so quiet. And the styling on the outside is so nice, but for the money, I can't beat the Lexus. I got my GS350 F Sport for... Uh, uh, I think it was like 35 with 20,000 miles on it, 22,000 miles. So I can't beat that. If you're just joining us, we've got all of our merch right here on sale on our website. Coupon code YouTube25 until tomorrow night, which is one day longer than the rest of our coupon codes. So because I forgot to put something on YouTube, I'm going to give you guys two full days to, uh, to shop. And like I mentioned... This is my favorite jacket. Unfortunately, we just have, I think, 2XL and medium left in it right now. Would you have a meet in Iowa? We go to races every once in a while in Iowa. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ask Brent if they can find it. I, you know, I think if I think if the my old neon was there, it'd be pretty easy to find with the body kit on it. I don't know. Uh, show the Lexus. Well, I've, I drove over to the warehouse here with the with the uh, Spank Bank ZR1. But good news is Kenton's got the same car, but in black. His is lowered, mine's factory height. But that's... Uh... Color choice. Kenton's got the black, black on black on black. He blacked out all the trim, all the logos and everything. The warehouse isn't very sexy from the outside. But there you have it. And I may have lost the signal because uh, the Wi-Fi is inside the 
the big box I walked outside of. <laughs> Race diesel. I would like to build a, not really build a diesel, but have a faster diesel sometime. I'm shopping for a new Denali 2500 to turn up a little bit for my tow vehicle. Do, do, do. When is the next time you come to Houston? Uh, Cletus and Cars is February 26th, I think, in Houston. We'll be at that one. And then we've got TX2K. And then I'm not sure after that, maybe Cletus and Cars in the fall as well. Two ice cream cruises in 2019. I would love to do that, but I don't think you understand how much time it takes to run the ice cream cruise. Uh, we, I just simply don't have time for that. Show the warehouse. Okay, I gave a tour earlier in the earlier in the video, but we've got our merch wall of all the shirts and hoodies we have for sale. Here's all the packages from yesterday's orders. You guys are over here packaging right now. Um, it's kind of our little hangout area. We just moved in here. We're still arranging stuff, but got uh, got Fred's bathroom, and then we have the men's bathroom. Sorry, Fred. <laughs> Shipping station, all of our overstock stuff. Well, here's got a bunch of overstock uh, hoodies right here. Got uh, overstock of a lot of the women's gear over here. A bunch of other shirts. And then we have all of our hats through here. We've got like, I don't know, 15 different styles of hats, something like that. <laughs> you like the Fred's bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Fred. Don't hate me too much. It's actually Fred's birthday on... When's Fred's birthday? Monday? He's turning 40. He's turning 40. Go congratulate him on his Facebook page. It's Fred with 1320 video. He will personally reply. Actually, Kenton runs Fred's Facebook page. <laughs> if you do it, go to Kenton with 1320 video. Kenton's right here, but Fred runs his Facebook page. I was drunk one night and set that up for them. <laughs> Make sure to check that out. Florida stickers, not yet. That was a question earlier, so maybe. Seems to be a popular request. More overstock. And then this badass mural our friend, stripper named Nasty, did in about eight hours. And then we've got all of our, this is where we pick and pull and pack our, our shirts and hoodies from, and all the overstocks over there. So it's a really nice size warehouse. When we clear this out, if we need to, we can pull the trailer in. It's a uh, good size for now. Eventually, we'll need a bigger one. And if you're just joining us, all this stuff is 25% off on our website. Just use the coupon code YouTube25 when you check out. And, uh, yeah, these mechanic shirts are really cool, too. Uh, um, these have been a real popular seller. People that want to support while they're work working and not get their nice shirts dirty. And all these are Gildan shirts. So they're not crappy quality. Thoughts on the Lexus RCF? I like it. It's definitely a cool looking car. I, uh, I don't know. Luxury sports cars aren't my favorite thing in the world. I'd, I would love an ISF. Maybe one of the old ones. I really like those. Or not ISF. Uh, well, I would love an ISF, but that's out of my out of my budget. <laughs> what was the old? What was the old Lexus with the four tips? It's the ISF. Yeah. Oh, it is ISF. Okay, I'm not losing it. And then there's the LFA. That's what I was thinking of. Okay, ISF. I really like the old school one. <laughs> Big, fat, effing Lenny. <laughs> so, yeah. That's the warehouse. We also have, on the other side of this wall, there's a smaller room for uh, offices. And we've got the editors that work over there. They're not they're not here right now, or I'd go say hi to them. What other questions you guys got for me? We're going on 35 minutes. Holy crap. Time flies. Thoughts on battery battery powered powered Camaro. I think it's really cool personally. I hate the fact that the world's moving possibly away from gasoline powered motors a little bit. But at the same time, the evolution of battery-powered cars is really cool to me. Um, seeing, like, the factory cars aren't that that cool. I don't really like Copos in general just because uh, a car without a VIN number is kind of useless to me. But it's cool to see them race at the track. Um, and I, but I love seeing the, the battery-swapped cars and the ingenuity with people that, that swap them. That's pretty cool. I, I want to see what 
it's it's crazy to be in a car when it launches and there's no sound other than the tires and the rocks. Um, <laughs> yes, we have a Japanese. Well, it's it's the Rising Sun Japanese sticker. Uh, Gandhi Bridge, Gandhi Bridge. Yes, I know, I know. <laughs> We've been there a few times. We'll be back, don't worry. Next car you want to purchase? That's a good question. Hmm. Next car I want to purchase. <laughs> I do want a new ZR1 eventually, but I've got two Corvettes. Um, I would like to build a car for burnouts. That's something that's been on my mind. Something cheap and and uh, simple, not like the uh, the unicorn, which is just a lot of work to keep going, like any race car of its of its power. Um, I do a shirt with the logo. Great job, bud. I like that idea. <laughs> Get a gremlin. We were just talking about gremlins earlier. <laughs> uh, it'd have to have the uh, the uh, Twizzler dispenser in it. Favorite guilty pleasure kind of car? Mm. I don't know what that means. Just anything with a lot of powers. I guess my guilty pleasure kind of car. Twin turbo Lambos. I would love to own a twin turbo Lambo one day. Uh, or, well, sorry, twin turbo V10. I will own one day. It's just a lot of money to commit to in a car because I'd rather invest in this and cars that are more like in line with what we film because um, a base model twin turbo just lower horsepower is going to set you back at least 150 grand and so kind of ridiculous when you can buy two of these zr1s for that much money but i just the, the sound of a twin turbo b10 is amazing da, da, da. okay one more question I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold out for a really good one. Favorite food, that's not going to be the last one, but uh, uh, Korean food. I really love bagogi, kimchi. I think that's probably my favorite. Favorite car older than you? <laughs> uh, that's actually a really good question. My favorite car older than me would be a lot of different cars in 69. Mopars, Camaros. Anything at 69, love that body style. That's a really good question. I've never heard that one before. I was born in 82, to date myself, and uh, everything in the 80s is ugly, and most of the 70s, but would I ever get a Ford? Okay, I'm gonna keep answering a couple. Mm, yeah, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe a box body with the swap in it. Maybe, I don't know. Best highlight of 2018. Hmm, that is a really, oh, my car in SEMA. That was probably my favorite highlight. I never dreamed of having a car in SEMA. That was pretty amazing. Oh yeah, favorite import, I'm sorry. White R34 GTR V-Spec 2. Oh, shout out to Anthony, favorite import ever. Probably his car. That was just, it's still the lock screen on my phone for the last eight months, um, yeah. But starting to, starting to draw out here. I really appreciate you guys watching the first live feed. And make sure to check out our, our Black Friday sale that's going to go on until tomorrow night for you guys. Tonight, for the rest of our fans that didn't watch this live feed, YouTube25, coupon code. We're going to keep the guys over here packing and shipping for a day or two. Well, a couple days. And, uh, yeah, that's it. I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. I can figure out how to shut this off. <laughs>